Hey everyone, so today I guess I am doing a little Photoshop tutorial since some people had asked me and so this is just me making a quick little cover. I'm going to try this, to do this as fast as I can just because I only have 15 minutes to do it. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, first you're going to click obviously new. Um, I have a preset for Wattpad, so whenever that pops up, I will. It's going to tell you my size. Um, the standard Wattpad is 256 by 400. I usually like to work with a bigger area, so I do 400 by 625. Then you press OK. Now my computer's a little slow, so it's going to take a little bit. Clearly. My computer likes to take my time, take its own time. Any day now. <laughs> All right. So then you're gonna open a smart object for your image, and oh, that's not the right folder. <laughs> Text All right. Oh no, not that one either. All right. So I just kind of chose a photo of Harry's legs just because they're his legs. And it seemed like an easy enough picture to work with. So, and then you're going to pull that away from that little tab area. And then you're going to drag it back into your image. No. Because <laughs> I didn't do anything to it. Alright. And then you're going to hit Control T. And you want to make sure you click on this little thing right here just so you can so it stays the same size and it doesn't distort it or anything so <laughs> cuz that's just a mess I don't think my computer likes this recording program too much so yeah if it crashes that would be why but um bring that right there hit check and then you're going to open a smart object once more. I'm just going to use this little texture thing as an example because I know a lot of people like their textures. Um, I definitely do. This picture, I probably wouldn't even use it, but just to show you what to do, I'm for the sake of this, I'm going to show you. And then, I'm sorry if this seems a little fast. Feel free to ask me questions. I'm going to turn it so it's Actually, I'm going to put that on the bottom. I'm going to make sure it's 90. <laughs> but with textures, I don't care if it's distorted because it's just kind of making the image prettier and just doing pretty things to this already beautiful picture. And you're going to go over here and click where it says normal. Click that. And I usually just arrow down until I find one that looks decent. I I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> I think I'm going to do overlay. Because that seems... Okay. And you can go back and obviously hit control T and do what you want with it. So I'm going to do that. And then I like how it is, but I'm going to change the opacity and I go down and then just click off of that. Then I hit this T here which is for your text and my computer loves to take its time opening the text stuff so I'm just gonna do one of the stories that I'm I have right now which is called the Prince since it's probably my favorite one to write right now and I'm just doing like a mock-up so then I'm going to change that to, uh, here's all your fonts, well these are my fonts, but you can get more from like thefont.com and it's easy enough to get them from there. They're all free. I think the hardest part is just finding <laughs> fonts <laughs> to use. I 
I feel like singing to what makes you beautiful, but I'm not going to do that to you guys. <laughs> And then to go back, you want to make sure you click on your words before you click somewhere. <laughs> I've made that mistake a few times, because then you just create new font layers. And the reason I did two different layers is because I usually like the second word to be a little bit bigger. Not that big, but I do like it bigger than the the. And another trick is if you want it a certain distance away, like, say, oh, hold on. Say you want it, like, over, like, the T over that, you just use your arrows on your keyboard to do that. If you don't have the arrows, I'm sorry, I don't know any other trick, but that's another way to do it. But I am going to arrow it over a little bit and down, just so it looks nice. And then I go down to this FX, which is obviously FX, and hit drop shadow. I, this is usually the only one I do. Um, on the cover that I do have for the prints, I do have bevel and emboss, so... There's that option. Then you get this box. I usually like to do 100% on opacity just because it makes it darker and if you have like whites in the background it makes it a little more clear. And size. Size I usually crank up and just do spread just to make it a, a little bit darker. And then I'm just going to press enter, so I can do the same thing for the other thing. And you hit styles when you go back, and this should be the last one. Yep. And then you're going to obviously enter your name. doesn't tell me how much time I have left, I'm sorry. And then we're gonna find a font for my name. Let's see what the true blood one looks like. No, that looks a little too cartoonish. I'm not gonna diss true blood. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> if this happens, you just hit control D. Because that should fix it then. I don't know how that happened. I was in text mode. I'm going to shrink this actually. <laughs> you just kind of play around until you find one that looks decent. See, it usually takes me the longest. Okay, that one looks pretty decent. So you're going to make that size you think is necessary. And how I highlighted that is control A if you didn't know that. It's easy. Um, I use a lot of shortcuts, so if I didn't explain any, uh, go ahead and ask. Because sometimes I do it without even thinking. Like, it's crazy how much I use them. I've actually met people who are fully against it. And they just help you get things done faster. So that's basically all you do for this. For the cover, that's just a simple way. Um, and I, I usually find photos with a lot of background to them just so I can, you know, obviously play with it a little bit more. And then when you're done, you hit File, Save As, and then I usually do PNG down here because this I was I went to a seminar for um, Photoshop once and should PNG it doesn't change when you put it on the internet and save it over and over again like because you obviously share files but every time you share it um, 
the pixels become a little more depleted and on PNG that doesn't happen. So that's all you do. And then you hit enter and then this box comes up and I just press OK and it saves down here. And then I guess I'll run through some of these quick. Um, this is your selection tool. Um, if you right click you'll get all these. It's another selection tool, a little more advanced. This one, it usually comes up as quick selection, but a lot of people like the magic wand, which selects a certain area, so I, that's the one I usually use. This is crop, and I don't really use these. Your eye drop, and a bunch of, like, it's, once you get to know the program, it's pretty easy to use. So, yeah. And I got. I really hope you guys like this. Um, I hope you found it helpful. So, yeah, I'll see you if you want me to explain anything at all. Don't be afraid to ask. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll leave the link to my Wattpad down below. And yeah, thanks guys. Bye.